<laughs> make sure you create a lot of things, keep things simple, crash the net, hope for a deflection or a, a fluke goal or a rebound goal because uh, both goalings so far, especially Laco, have been tremendous. So you see Soros getting the start in place of Pekka Rene. Rene has gone 191 minutes without a goal. He's pushing that record held by Jan Lasik from Slovakia. And what a story that would be. Pekka Rene is pumped up. He is motivated after last year's gold medal game loss to Russia. Posted at 1.88 goals against average in nine games at the tournament last year. Had three shutouts there as well. He's a game changer and perhaps the most talented goaltender in the tournament. Absolutely. He's had a tremendous season in the NHL and his play continues here at the Worlds. So face off here at center ice. Kopecky against Barkov. A couple of young forwards there out there on the draw. Couple of Florida Panthers teammates off the faceoff now. Puck sent ahead. Finland still have 40 seconds remaining in the man advantage. Pesanen brings the puck up the ice now. Up through the neutral zone. Barkov drops it off. There's a shot. And another save for Jan Lako. Jokinen, there's a shot from Lindell, and it deflects up and out of play for another stoppage. Good block by 82 there, Captain. Getting right in front of that shot, Kopecky. Making sure there's, that doesn't go to his net. Bucks deflects outside, but it's where it sacrifice his body for the team. So Thomas Kopecky, the 33-year-old veteran. 6'3", 209 pounds. Likes to play a physical brand of hockey. Off the faceoff now. Slovakia come away with it, up through the neutral zone. Into the attacking end. There's a backhander. Barkov comes away with it now. Barkov up through the neutral zone. Barkov with a head of steam. Barkov puts on the brakes. Turns back. Finds Lindell. That shot doesn't make it through. On the half boards now. And we're back to full strength. Donskoy. Donskoy walking out in front. And now Mazaros plays it up along the boards. Up through the neutral zone. And... Slovakia will make line changes as they send it in deep. Salmela back for Finland. Salmela brings the puck up the ice, up through the neutral zone, into the attacking end. Janicic back for Slovakia. Janicic shakes off that check from Komarev. Up through the neutral zone now, into the attacking end. And offside at the line as Sammy Lepisto touches the puck. Good job by Finland, good job, good side of speed by Barkov right there, especially before in a power play. Make sure you get the puck deep with speed and setting up a good scoring chance for them. Daloga suffering a high stick, a stick to the face, but no call behind the play. Off the face off now, Finland control, there's a shot wide of the net. Slovakia led by Jersina, Jersina into the attacking zone. Plays it behind the net. Sarovi. To the corner now. Komarev. And now into the corner. Lapisto. Sammy Lapisto with the puck. He drops it off. Go off on a line change. And now here come Finland. Puck skated ahead. Up through the neutral zone. And now Slovakia. Dump it in. The boards now sent down low by Jerko. Shipped ahead there by Yakula. Behind the net now. Finland get the puck ahead. Behind the net now Slovakia. Send it to the point. Nobody there. And now the Finns come away with it. Three on two. Pilstrom in over the line. Pilstrom trying to do it all on his own. Now Slovakia. Jerko gets it in deep. Mantila takes the hit. Pilstrom with it. Pilstrom sends it back to Mantila. Undersized defenseman now brings the puck up the ice. Gets it ahead and is brought in over the line by Kempeninen. He's been great in this tournament already. And that deflects up and out of play for a whistle and stoppage in play. A little bit of bad decision making there by the Finns in their own zone. 
uh, getting creating a turnovers because of bad passes and uh, almost got a good scoring chance by uh, the Slovaks. So face off now to the right of Jan Lako. Kampanainen in to take the draw for Finland. And off the face off now. Kampanainen wins it cleanly for Finland. Otama. Panic with it. Panic. Turns the puck over. Here's Otom. Altonen sending it oh. down low. Kampanainen. Altonen. And now Panic comes away with it. Panic. Gets it ahead to Bartovic. Bartovic drops it off. Panic! The shot. Rebound. Should Panic in the corner now. Gets it back to the blue line. There's a shot that doesn't get through. And now Mantila sends it back to his defense partner. And Yoki Paka will take his time. And now Yuri Yoki Paka leads the rush for Finland. Barkov up into the attacking end in Tartar. Tatar steals it. Brought into the attacking zone by Slovakia. There's a shot and an easy save there for UC Saros. Great decision there by the defenseman from France, Finland, excuse me. Get, instead of just throwing the puck in their offensive zone and uh, giving the puck away to Slovakia, comes back in his own land, gives a chance for a teammate to get the line change and then regroup, reload for another attack. There's Marian Gaborik. Slovakia need him to get rolling here. Counted on to provide lots of offense here for Slovakia in this tournament. In the neutral zone now. Tresina sends it ahead. Sarovi into the attacking zone. Tatar drops it off. Gavarik back to the blue line. Sarovi lets it go. Sarovi sends it down low. Lapisto backhands it ahead. Chipped ahead and now the Finns come away with it. Pontiola had a quiet game tonight for Finland. Jersina back and he'll organize. He wants to go off on a line change, so he'll leave it there for his defenseman. Brought up the ice now, and it's chipped in deep to the finish end. Back to retrieve it is Lindell. Buck skips all the way down the ice, and back to retrieve it now is Deloga. Deloga. Rushes the puck up the ice. Merrick DeLoga chips it into the finish end. Backhanded into the corner. And now Lindell and Donskoy. Puck turned over now. Jerko with it now. Jerko knocked to the ice. The crowd wanted a penalty. None coming. Barkov. Finland with some numbers. Here come the Finns. Oh. In alone and a nice defensive play there. There's a weak backhander. And now Sersen with it for Slovakia. Sersen sends it ahead up into the attacking zone. There's a bad angle shot into the corner now. Dano with it now. Dano on the boards. Behind the net now. And the Finns bring it up and out into the neutral zone. Send cross ice. Dano tees it up, and a nice save for Suros. Getting out, cutting down the angle, and not giving up a rebound. As a little bit of a scuffle breaks out after the whistle. Maybe there's a penalty coming for Danos uh, for the uh, slash after the whistle on the goalie. I'm not sure about that, but that's why there's a little uh, roughing play after the whistle. So uh, discussion there between Otama and our official. Take a look at this last replay. Dano. And cross ice. There's Ooh. a shot just off the outside of the post. So, that Saros beat, but just hits the outside of the iron. Face off now to the left of Saros. Panic. It's been quiet in this tournament. Back to the blue line. There's a shot. Loose puck in front. And now Finland come away with it. Pilstrom. Pilstrom. His shot deflects up and out of play. It's 13.58. And some more rough stuff breaking out after the whistle between Pilstrom and Andre Mazaros. 
So down the road in Prague, we're all deadlocked at one between Latvia and Austria. Kaspars Dogovins has replied for Latvia after goal by Lebler to open things for Austria. Looking ahead tonight, Group A, Switzerland and Sweden. Patrice, uh, what can we expect to see between those two teams? Uh, you got to expect uh, Sweden to play the usual game they play. A very talented, very experienced team. And uh, Switzerland, uh, they, they need some points. So uh, it's a big loss last night against uh, Germany. So they need, to, they need to get some points. So it's uh, one of those games that's uh, a must win for them. Denmark and Norway. Uh, what do you think of this matchup? Uh, who, who's your prediction? I think I would predict Norway would have the advantage. Uh, that's that's what I think, but uh, you never know in hockey. Patrick Thorson has been strong in this tournament for Norway. The former Edmonton Oiler now playing for Ska St. Petersburg in the Continental Hockey League. Face off now to the right of Jan Lako. Deadlocked here at zero in Ostrava. Off the face-off, Mantila sends it on the boards for Altonin. Sends it in front, nobody there. And now Slovakia turning it around the other way into the attacking zone. Tatar puts on the brakes. Backhands it into the corner. Gaboric going wide. He's got Sorovi in front of the net. Teed up by the at the point and a big rebound. There's another shot. And it's wired over the net. Finland need to get the puck out here. Mantila with it now. Gets it across to his defense partner. Yoki Paka to Mantila. Mantila up over center ice. He drives it in deep to the Slovakian end. Granik. Back to the point. There's a shot from Contiola. On the boards now. Komarev. And Slovakia come the other way with it. Jerko can't get by his man. There's a shot sent just wide of the net by Hudacek. Another shot turns wide of the net, out into the neutral zone. Finns get it ahead. Putting on the brakes, there's Rutu. Komarev, twisting and turning, Komarev. And now it's sent cross ice by Hudacek. Slovakia will make line changes. Jerko in on the four check, along with Vidinsky. Now it is Lapisto taking over. Sammy Lapisto playing his club hockey for Optimoblist in Yekaterinburg. Puck brought up the ice now by Jokinen. Jokinen gets it into the corner. There's a hit delivered on Barkov. There's a shot now and it doesn't get through. Donskoy looking for the loose puck and Dano plays it up along the boards and out. Dano. Battling ahead, Dano. There's a shot and it deflects up and out of play and we have another whistle and stoppage in play. Good action end to end right there. Both teams uh, don't know if they're gonna open things up a little bit, but definitely looking for a goal from both sides. And we saw the last uh, sequence by uh, Slovakia. A lot of good pressure, good shot, good job by uh, Gaborik. First time we really see him uh, being dangerous tonight with a wrap around and uh, almost uh, catch Siros, uh, Saros uh, in default. On the face-off now, into the corner it goes. Finland with possession. Sent up all the way down the ice, icing waved off. Anti Pilstrom out to pressure Lacko. In the corner now, panic. And now Slovakia come away with it. Up through the neutral zone with a head of steam. Putting on the brakes, there's a shot from Bartovic, one of the fastest skaters in the Continental Hockey League. Brought ahead now by Finland. Played back, one touch pass. There's a shot, and it's fired just wide of the net there by Louis Vara. Slovakia bring the puck up through the neutral zone. Sent in deep. Back to retrieve it now, Yoki Paka. And it's sent all the way down the ice in the corner now. Pessinen, Altonen, trying to walk out with it. And now Slovakia, bring it ahead. Yoki Paka with it, Yoki Paka. Banks it off the boards, and it's chipped in by Finland. 
In the neutral zone, the Finns take over. Komarev sends it back to his defenseman, Lapisto. Forced to circle back in his own end. Approaching the halfway mark here of the third period in a goaltending duel, 0-0. Brought in over line, and that's going to be offside as Rutu makes an extra move before crossing the blue line. Instead of moving the puck quick, as they usually do, Rutu just starts skating with it, which creates uh, the offside uh, situation with the plane. Rutu, the assistant captain, of course, the brother of Giarco Rutu, one of the most hated players in the NHL. What a pest he was. Absolutely. That's how he made a, that's how he made a career out of it. One of the game's great agitators. Brought up the ice now by Slovakia in the corner. Looking for the loose puck. Lapisto. And now Finland get it up and out into the attacking zone. Now it's chopped into the neutral zone. Lapisto goes back for Finland. He'll go off on a line change now. And Lindell comes away with it. Lindell up through neutral ice. Gets over center ice and dumps it in deep. Lacko out to play the puck. Ships it up along the boards. Miklik. And there's another puck. Oh, oh, great chance. Centered in front. Back to the blue line. The shot. They score! score! Finland score one nothing, and a couple of broken plays there in Finland. Draw first blood. Good job by Finland putting the pressure. Almost getting a scoring chance right before that. Puck getting back to the defenseman. Good shot. Maybe a deflection in front, but there's a lot of traffic in front, and that's how the goal was going to be got scored. Lindell throws it towards goal. Donskoy has a great chance, centers it in front, comes back to Lindell. Another shot, and was there a deflection there from Donskoy? That's the question. Looks, Looks like, like it. it. Yeah, so Donskoy. And there's that last sequence, and Donskoy's got his... Yeah, definitely looks like a deflection from Donskoy, so had a great game last game against Slovenia. Picks up right where he left off. A shot from the point. Lindell gets it through on goal and an absolutely a, a deflection in front. And Slovakia slow on getting over on the rotation there to cover Donskoy. We're going to look at the replay to see if that was a high stick. Look, look to me like it was yeah, legal. It's a, good, it's a good goal. It's a good goal, definitely. So puck comes back to the line. Donskoy's is his stick underneath the crossbar. Very close here. For me it is. Yeah, no question. It, it's below. It's below the crossbar. So this goal should stand for Finland, but we'll review it closely. And uh, not much to choose from between these two teams. Anxious moments here for Slovakian fans. And the Finns starting to celebrate. Some of the great hockey fans, these Finns. Absolutely. Have a good time. And the Lion King is in attendance as well today. Here's Don Scoyer. He's got his stick at that point below the crossbar. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a it touches, legal play. It touches the pants of the defenseman right there as well. So, so Juraz Mika slow on the defensive zone coverage. Didn't tie up Don Scoy. And there's the officials, the make-believe officials pointing at the center ice for a goal. And the referee confirms it's a one nothing Finland. They draw first blood here on a goal by Jonas Donskoy. That's his third point of the tournament. Very talented player. The shifty forward, all kinds of trouble in the offensive zone. Coming off a strong season for Ulu. Future looks bright for him, just 23 years of age. He figures to be a mainstay on this Finnish national team. Off the faceoff now, Imanen wins the draw for Finland. Race for the loose puck, Pilstrom there, Pilstrom in the corner. Pilstrom throws it towards goal. Now, it's sent down low into the corner. Pilstrom on it. Sends it cross ice. And Louis Vara. Back to the blue line. There's a shot. Doesn't get through. 
Now here comes Slovakia. Brought into the attacking zone. Panic puts on the brakes. Finland will relieve the pressure, get it out into the neutral zone. Send cross ice there by Gabor. Tatar, there's a shot, nice save by Saros. Making the big saves when he needs to. Brought into the attacking zone here by Finland. They'll send it down low. Kempeninen, there's a shot from a bad angle, rebound in front. Altonen, letting the shot go and now it's played out into the neutral zone. Yoki Paka gains the line for Finland, gets it in deep. Kempeninen is there, he's watched closely by Granit. Komarev on the attack now, he pokes it ahead. And now Slovakia, Vadinsky. With a head of steam, Badinsky in on goal. And the referee blows the whistle. Badinsky crashing the net. Good rush by him, protecting the puck. Good heart to the net. Goes so bad Yarko wasn't ready. The puck was right there for a good juicy rebound for an open net. It's a strong move by Vadinsky. Good job there by Saros. Jericho, got to have your stick on the ice when you crash the net, as Don Cherry would say. Absolutely. So face off in the neutral zone as the Slovakian player knocked the net off its moorings. On the boards now. Vidinsky sends it down low. Lapisto. And now... Slovakia with the pressure on, on the backhand, and it's shot right into the midsection of Saros. Good job protecting the puck right there, using his body, taking a good uh, backhand right to the goalie. Fortunately, there's no rebound. Merrick Deloga, six foot four, so really got a long reach, and he's using it to his advantage. He's a youngster, just 25 years of age, playing his club hockey in Sparta, Prague. The Finns hanging on here, a one nothing. Here's one more look at that goal. Good pressure, and they keep the hockey simple. That's that typical north-south Finnish style hockey. A lot of movement, a lot of quick passes, give and goes, and uh, there's always people in front of the net. Traffic makes it always hard for the goalie. The Finnish fans are loving it. The king is in the building tonight. So we had to review that one, but the goal stands. And that's where we are right now. one nothing for Finland. Some of the best hockey fans out there, the Finns. Right up there with the Latvians. And now. Offensive zone to face off for Slovakia. Off the draw. Puck tied up in some skates and now it goes into the corner. Slovakia with possession. The crowd wanted a penalty. Nothing coming. The referees letting these two teams play today. Back to retrieve the puck now. Jersina. Miklik. In the neutral zone. Don's going a penalty coming up here to Finland. So the crowd may be influencing the referees. That one was there at penalty. The first one before, no, but this one, absolutely. So Kari Alonen's men will have to go on the PK. Miklik makes the pass ahead. And Mikas tripped up. So Alexander Barkov will get the gate for two or less. Good chance for this Finnish power, or pardon me, this Slovakian power play to go to work. Sorovi's got a power play goal already in this tournament. Mazaros from the blue line. He can really tee it up. Along the boards now. Back to the blue line. Tatar on the half boards. Tatar takes it back to the blue line. Mazaros, Tatar, cross ice. No shot. There it is. And it's wired wide of the net. Tatar controls it. Sends it into the corner. Back to the blue line, Mazaros. There's the shot by Gabarek. And a nice save by Soros. Good puck movement, good cycling by the 
Slovakian players and then good shot there, but no rebounds. Good job by Saros. A lot of traffic in front, which that's what they need. So Gabor gets the shot through. And the rebound was there, but Sorovi just a little bit late to react to it. Stick's got to be down. On the draw now. Face off one by Slovakia. Tatar down low. Tatar with it now. Tatar. Circles with it, goes cross ice into the skate. And that allows Finland to get it up and out. Pilstrom, he's one of the fastest skaters on this Finnish team. On the boards now. Tatar looking for it. In the corner. Puck comes loose. Sarovi back to the blue line. Sarovi comes it down low. And the Finns get it all the way down the ice. 50 seconds remaining here in the man advantage for Slovakia. Just over six minutes left in regulation time. Plenty of time here for Slovakia to tie things up. Puck rushed up the ice. Brought into the attacking zone behind the net. And now Jerko plays it to line. Cross ice. Kept in at the line or perhaps not. It trickles out. And Deloga unable to keep it in. Problem with Slovakia right there on the power play. Finland overloads on one side of the puck. They try to keep trying to make a little pace there. There's pressure on them. What they should do is when they get the puck, you gotta throw the puck all the way on the other side, change the pressure, then you can easier you can set up easier and reload on your power play. Finland leading Slovakia 1-0 here in the third period of play in Ostrava. In the hometown of Tennis legend Ivan Lendl. Puck behind the net now. Budacek gets it ahead and Finland steal the puck. And all the way down into the Slovakian end. Just 10 seconds remaining in the man advantage. Puck thrown ahead there and it skips up into the finish bench as uh, Marek Deloga unable to handle the pass. Just bounce on him right there. It's Vladimir Vutek, head coach for Slovakia. And the Slovakians looking to get some points tonight. They're in fourth place in the group. On the faceoff now. Center ice, Finland. Up 1-0, we're back to full strength. Puck is driven in. The attacking and by the Slovakians and now the Finns get it all the way down the ice. Hope to play the puck. Jan Lako puts it up along the glass. Barkov keeps it in. Sends it down low. Jersina plays it up along the boards. And now puck comes out and Finland take over. Finns will go right back behind the net and be content to kill as much time off the clock as possible. Puck rushed up the ice, up through the neutral zone. Sent in deep. Pethanin takes a hit in the corner. Skeletia forward, former Akbar's Kazan star. There's a shot, they score in the slot. Alton in. Quick release, and it's 2 0 Finland. What a play right there by number 24. Kampanen. Puck on the board, puck protection. Using his body, going around the net. Alton in right in front of the net, wide open, good good one-timer shot. Nothing luck can do on there. There you see Pessinen leaving it for Kempenin. And then Pessinen finding the open teammate. And Altonen rifles it into the back of the net. And it's 2-0 Finland, so an insurance goal for the Finns. And that's a crucial goal here for Finland. Bad coverage right there, right in front of the net. Wide open like that. Shouldn't happen. So 427 remaining here in the third period of play. Finland out front by two goals. In the neutral zone now. Tatar throws it towards goal. And Slovakia came close to drawing one back. Tatar keeps it in momentarily at the line. Now it's in the neutral zone. 
Slovakia dump it right back in. Saros. Important for Finland here to escape this uh, next barrage here and get a face off as Slovakia are turning up the pressure in the neutral zone. Sent ahead, and that's going to be offside at the line as in over. Komarev was in over the line before the play. There's our goal scorer, Yumahati Altonen. Six foot forward, playing his club hockey for Jokerit Helsinki. Face off at center ice, Barkov against Vidinsky. Pushed ahead by Hudicek. Bodies his man. And now in the corner it goes. Puck comes out. Deloga. Back for Slovakia. Dumps it in to the attacking end. Delivers a hit. In the corner now. Vidinsky. Bodied off the puck in Finland. Will get it out and down the ice. Back into Slovakian territory. Sersen. Mikhail Sersen. Sends it ahead and now Finland take over. Important for Slovakia try to get the puck in the offensive zone. And then with that three minutes, two goals down, probably call a timeout right away and then work on a set play for uh, try to get a, a goal back. Three minutes left here in regulation time. Puck starting to become an enemy for Slovakia. Sent in behind the net. In the corner now, Kopecki gets it to the blue line. Here's a shot! It's kept out by Saros. There's another drive. Puck bouncing around, and now the Finns get it out into the neutral zone. Sent all the way into the corner. Altonen delivers the hit. Now Miklet has the puck bounce over his stick. Mantila gets it into Slovakian territory. Jersina goes cross ice to his defense partner, and he'll go off on a line change. Slovakia bring the puck ahead. That pass off the mark. Icing waved off. Shift up along the boards and now the Finns bring it out. Kempinen gets it ahead. Circling around the net is Komarov. Komarov drops it off for his teammate Kempinen. Sends it in along the boards now twisting and turning with it is Komarov. Komarov back to the blue line. Here's a shot! And Lacko makes the save. Decides to play the puck. 145 left here. Slovakia need to get things going. Janosic. Look for Vladimir Butek to pull the goalie soon. Puck brought up through the neutral zone. Into the attacking end. To get it in deep. Keaton and swipes at it. Sorovi there. And now the Finns come away with it. Daloga, his pass off the mark. Barkov steals it, now Heaton in. Pokes it ahead, Donskoy. Swipes at it, and now circling back with it is Mikas. Up through the neutral zone, dumped in by Vidinsky. Behind the net now, the Finns doing a great job showing this clock. And Slovakia's got the goaltender pulled. All kinds of time for the Finns. Get it up along the boards and out all the way down the ice. And now, Jersina. Slovakia's got to hurry. Just 40 seconds remaining. Brought in over the line. There's a bad angle shot and an easy save for UC Saros. Good job right there. I would have taken the goalie out before that. Especially when they had their line changed and they were sitting up behind the net. But that's me. So, the coach has spoken. Looks like... Vladimir Vutek may just call a timeout here. Draw up a play. What do you try and do here? Time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. Get, get Fox at net. Fox at net. Don't try for a cute plays. You're going to get two, three guys, three guys at least in front. Get some shots. Get the puck through. Go for a rebound, reflection, or, or a straight goal. But uh, you can't you can't start working on that place. You don't have enough time right there. you got two goals in that deficit. you got to shoot everything, everything at net. Here's the two finished goals. First one here on the deflection by Donskoy. And here's the second one. Pessinen doing all the dirty work, making the nice pass. And Altonen 
Johnny on the spot in the slot makes no mistake and puts the fins up 2-0 and Patrice if the fins can hang on to this that'll be four games in a row that they'll uh, have shut out their opposition pretty good it's pretty good that they, they play a really good team game offensively defensively I mean everybody's on the same page what I like about those guys they don't they make good puck decisions they don't just throw the puck away for nothing they keep it they bring it back to their own zone if they need to and they reload Finland win the draw they place it up and here's the chance now to ice it Komarev misses the net 25 seconds remaining Komarev hits his man and now Slovakia bring the puck up the ice up through center ice into the attacking zone and now Kempen in the chance to ice it and now Komarev to put it away and that's it three nothing Leo Komarev gets the empty net goal and Finland are going to win this match against Slovakia. Open net before that, uh, Komarov didn't seem like he wanted to put it in. And then uh, lucky bounce there for Finland, Komarov coming back, getting up from a uh, hit, and then uh, open net play. So with this three points, Finns will now have 12 points from five games, and that'll put them in a three-way tie with the USA and Russia. Slovakia on the outside looking in with seven points. They're trailing Belarus by three. How much trouble are the Slovakians in? Well, they're going to need to win some games, definitely, and I hope the other teams, uh, some other teams lose it. So a log jam up at the top of Group B between Finland, Russia, and the USA. It's going to go down to the wire here in Group B. A solid win for the Finns total team effort absolutely uh, domination by the Finns uh, same thing as we saw against Slo Slovenia last game really like their play I really like the way they're playing good goaltending as well from him tonight as well replacing uh, Pekarine and I think they're a team to watch for this uh, for this gold medal so Kari alone and head coach of Finland has everyone on the same page he succeeds Erka Westerland who was in charge of the team last spring and the Finns last year's silver medalist looking to be a serious contender here they started off slow your thoughts on uh, player of the game Lako for Slovakia and Donskoy number 72 for Finland so the Finns started this tournament off slowly with a crushing 5-1 defeat to the USA but they've responded since with four straight shutout victories taken down Denmark, Norway, Slovenia and now Slovakia for the Slovakians they started off the tournament hot overtime win over Belarus defeated Denmark in a shootout and then a victory over Slovenia but they've hit a wall since with losses to Norway and Finland now and you called it Jan Lako Gets the nod for Slovakia. Solid game from him in a losing cause. Absolutely. Should have been, could have been like 6 7 nothing for Finland if he wasn't there tonight. Oh, this afternoon, excuse me. And now for Finland. And so it was a goaltending duel tonight. And uh, how about that? The second stringer stepping into the lineup and picking right off where Pecorine left. That's very good. I mean, it's good for his confidence. It's good that the team played well in front of him as well. And he did make some good saves, so it's well deserved for both goalies. So, Finland win this one 3-0 over Slovakia. I'm Mike Weaver for Patrice Lefebvre. We'll see you again very soon for some more IHF World Hockey Championships.